Greetings, my friends. The end times news keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's amazing how fast things are happening. It's amazing how close we are to the imminent rapture, Harpazo catching away. It's just incredible. And here's the latest and greatest. As the video title asks, did what did President Trump just do to trigger the imminent rapture? I believe he has. And here's exactly what I believe is going down. Once again, God is using President Donald Trump to further his end times plan. I'm reading my notes. Trump leaving Syria puts Putin in a perfect Gog Magog war position. Is it easier to see the spoils that God's hook puts in Putin, Gog of Magog, Russia's mouth, from Russia or right next door? To Israel and Syria? It's a rhetorical question. Everyone is outraged by Trump's move, which normally happens when Satan is angry that God is moving and doing God's perfect will. We have the military buildup going on over the last year, the oil exploration, oil discoveries, all the things happening in Israel. We know that Putin is Gog. We know Russia is Magog. We know that Putin leads the battle of Gog and Magog with Iran. Syria, with Turkey, and they're all right there in Syria as well. They're all ready to go. They're all set, and it is just obvious what's going on. And Iraq is now in the mix. The North Africa countries are hitting on Israel. We're in the last of the last of the last days, my friends. We are we are just totally at the end of the world. As we know it and Donald Trump's being used by God's hand just like God used many other kings in the Bible days and Trump would have been a king there were no presidents in the Bible days he's the same thing as a king and God uses everyone he uses non-christians uses Christians he uses people who say they're Christians and aren't it doesn't matter God will use anyone to further his will and I know that God is using President Trump and I know that the nation needs to pray for President Trump, that he would listen to God and do God's will. And God will deal with President Trump in his time with as far as his <coughs> Christianity, whatever's going on with him, whether he is or isn't, whatever's happening, <coughs> God will take care of that. He'll handle it in his time and his way. But Trump is being used by God and people hate him. People hate Trump. They're trying to impeach him. They're trying to get rid of him. Who knows what will happen? But God raises up leaders. He takes down leaders, and when God's finished with Donald Trump, Trump will be gone. Until then, he'll be where he's at for God to use him. We're in the last of the last days again, my friends. And what do you what do you what do you want to be? Do you want to be in heaven after the imminent rapture, our paws are catching away, or left behind for seven pure years of hell on earth, where if God didn't intervene, no flesh remain alive, as it is, billions will die the most grotesque, awful, horrific deaths known to man. It's gonna be just a horrific, beyond your wildest nightmare. Where do you want to be at? I know where I want to be. I know where I'm going to be. Jesus Christ is your only hope, my friends. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you daily. Love you all so much. Don't want to see anyone languish and spend forever in hell in the lake of fire. And make sure you share my videos and sermons. If people get saved, repent of being backslidden, you get credit in heaven as well, my friends, for sharing. Love you all so much. May God bless you and look up true Christians. Our redemption draws nigh. We fly soon. Share. May God bless you. Love you.